Hello and welcome everybody. Josh RV Nerd, Ambitious RV here with a brand new fifth wheel series from Grand Design, their new Influence series. Now, just to help you get caught up to speed real quick on this, if you're kind of familiar with their lineup previously, they are effectively breaking the Solitude S-Class out to give it its own identity and its own kind of, you know, day in court effectively. Um, a lot of the things that you're very familiar with on Solitude S-Class were here, but it was never, it was getting really muddy, the waters between like, what's a Solitude, what's an S-Class, so they, they made a clear line in the sand right here and uh, what, what's cool about this is they're they're really giving the influence series like a completely different look and feel from what you might find on solitude so uh, what's great here is you're not really making like sacrifices going from one to the other it's just a matter of like um, you know which one tastes a little bit better on your personal palate here like we're still a, uh, a true wide body product with that seamless floor decking so you don't have squeaks and creaks in your flooring now your leveling system on this will be electric instead of hydraulic and depending on the floor plan it might be six point it might be four point we're looking at a six point system today uh this is a little bit longer rv because they've done something a little bit different here with the upper deck they basically gave it a full upper deck super slide but they did it in a way that maintained you know a queen or king bed slide as well as monster front bedroom storage but because the slide is also part of the bathroom they put the bathroom vanity in that and it it gets a lot of big bulky blocky stuff off the floor plan and it makes the bathroom look and feel huge and actually they were able to put a bigger shower and plenty of storage in this thing overall i really kind of like the upper deck it reminds me of a uh it used to be called an eagle premier uh floor plan years ago uh that i saw but i feel like this has been executed very very nicely now a really key feature on this is they do have dual floor flush slides in the lower deck so you don't have one of those annoying kitchen toe stubbers in the lower deck carpetless ventless easy cleaning this is something that i could uh i could see somebody setting up shop for a while but if you got a uh, decent sized truck and you feel like moving it's also right on that cusp where it doesn't feel too big that moving it eh, a couple times a year would be super out of the question but i'm, I'm sure some people would pull it full time too i don't know and whenever we have something brand new and shiny like this, I always like to kind of ask the question, first impressions. Just a quick at a glance when you look at this, what's the uh, what's the phrase or the feeling? How could you, can you put that into words, you know? Now, one of the nice things over here on the camp side of the RV, like I'm at the back of the RV facing forward, the camp side of the RV is just max window coverage, really giving you amazing views of your campsite. Now, the RV doesn't give you, um, you know, a, uh, a privacy shade built into the door, which kind of grinds my gears a little bit on some of these big luxury fifth wheels, but thankfully that's a very low dollar, easy thing to do. And they brought some classy kind of features in this. Like some people like a split sink, some people don't. Some people like a uh, a farm sink. And they they kind of took the sink up and cranked it to 11. You got this handy little, uh, you know, I mean, you could defend yourself from a gas station murder hobo thing over here. You got a handy little rinse basin that does have a plug and a drain. You also have yourself a nice little like almost like veggie strainer over here in that big farm sink. And of course, the handy dandy little, uh, oh, hold on, cup washer. That, that is cool. Like that is all nice, cool stuff that I see in here. But again, something that's awesome. This is a wide body rig with dual opposing flush floor slides. And you'll see the heat vents will come like kind of off the side of things so that we are ventless, we are easy cleaning, very pet friendly, all those kind of good fun things that you might hope for right there. Now this model, they're, they're actually doing something, this is, this is revolutionary in the RV industry. They're naming their model numbers the length of the RV. This is the 3803, it is 38 feet, three inches long. Isn't that a novel idea? That's actually what RVs used to do years and years ago. And then uh, manufacturers kind of got away from that concept. I, I really hope that trend actually catches on a little bit more. I love the symmetry of the kitchen. Actually, what I haven't noticed yet, are there, yes, there are. There are power outlets under the overhead cabinets right there. So that's kind of an important thing to catch. Nice big appliance set. And it looks like they've gone really uh, like all in with Furion on this, which I kind of like when manufacturers are a little more consistent like that versus like when you have like a fridge made by one guy and a, and a stove made by another person or something like that. Like overall, I just like it. And again, the wide body nature, all the windows on this, man, does it give you that big, gigantic sense of space. Now, a very key detail to understand on the Influence series, their dual centrally ducted air standard, you can option in from the factory 
a third centrally ducted air conditioner. What they are not is in the base form, they are not prepped and ready for a third air conditioner. So if you don't get the third AC from the factory, it is not something you can just like easily add after the fact or have a dealership do. Like it will be, I, I what I can tell you is, is it physically impossible to accomplish that task? No. Is the juice going to be worth the squeeze and the money you're going to spend on it? Also, probably no. Uh, that's kind of my experience on things like that. Now, because it is wide body, they're able to give us a big three seat sofa in the back. And I like how the household and USB plugs are at the top of those side stands as opposed to all the way down at the bottom. And that's kind of, um, here's another way of looking at influence. Influence is like the missing link between solitude and reflection. And if solitude and reflection had a baby, influence would be the result. It's kind of like a reflection on steroids, if that makes sense. Sort of like over in Jayco's lineup, a North Point is like an eagle on steroids and then a pinnacle goes a level above. Um, influence is like a, uh, a reflection on steroids and then solitude goes above and beyond that. But um, taking a look at this right here, you still have those nice blackout roller shades, and that is a power theater recliner with heat and massage. It is very population controlling, obviously, the hard fixed armrest between. It does still have the thigh buster USB plugs as well. Um, I like how instead of flipping up the overhead cabinet doors, they all just swing sideways so you don't gotta like try to juggle them open, and it'd be really hard to reach them all the way up top there if they did flip up that'd be a problem the tcl roku smart tv can twist and shout pivot around any which way uh you want it basically like clint eastwood it can go every which way and hopefully not loose <laughs> but the uh the, the kitchen in this thing the storage in all the kitchen space is fantastic i love that little spice rack that drops down above the microwave. I was kind of advised from the factory folks, they're going to make that drop down a little bit further. And everything going on uh, in the island, all the storage that they have there, um, the, uh, you know, again, all the sink spaces, the uh, the big giant refrigerator, everything they have in this sucker is just an absolute uh, home run in terms of long-term, like full-time RVing, big time space and storage. And of course, up above the kitchen, you do have one of those rain sensing max air kind of uh, vent fans to help keep all the, uh, the hot air exhausted and when you just want you know normal um you know breeze coming through the rv you'll see how all the windows in this open for maximum airflow so you can really get some nice air cruising cooking breathing through here now i wonder if they put outlets under the overhead here they did household and usb now that doesn't bother me so much when they put them under an area like that because it's not really tall you know from the countertop uh up to the bottom of that cabinet it's not super duper tall so that doesn't bother me i also kind of like this little organizer kind of mail slot like i think that it'd probably be like our little device organizing station in my house now they go with a little bit of that kind of uh sort of floating step station which can also double as a shoe garage if you don't mind seeing a little visual clutter that's up to you i like that little motion light oh thank that was perfect i couldn't have timed that better if i tried also this is those devils in the details things an actual little coat closet a little space to hang a jacket right by the entry door that i really like now those two those are all soft clothes and here's the thing that door opens from left to right this door opens from right to left because once you get up the stairs it's easier to reach and now here is where we can keep like our our hat and our gloves and like all that good stuff now uh you know from from here phasing backwards i didn't intend to be facing this direction i was thinking of uh actually doing the the bedroom first and then the bathroom later but we're gonna go about it a little bit different way and that works because this is a little bit different floor plan you actually have a third super slide this is an upper deck super slide where it begins up here in your bedroom. You see that, I like that shelf above the headboard and it folds down, I just noticed that. That's a cool little detail, it can fold down so it just looks like an accent plank wall or you can have it up there for like a little decorative or a phone shelf station and that right there. If you are a CPAP user, you wanna use this side of the bed right there. But this whole slide actually continues into the bathroom. Like that wall partition is part of the slide out. If you look at the slide fascia, you can kind of read and trace that through a little bit better. Nice deep countertop on this sucker uh, as well. Plenty of room there. Like you can actually, like 
you have room to really wash adult hands, get in there, wash your face, all kinds of stuff. Um, the uh, space around the toilet is just fan fluffy tastic. There's a, that's the three F's right there. You also have yourself an absolutely fantastic dedicated like linen, um, you know, toiletry kind of storage space over here. I hope they did. Ah, they did. They dropped down to the four inch fart fan up here in the bathroom. That just in a big fifth wheel like this. I know it cost a couple bucks to upgrade it, but like when you got things like height adjustable shower hardware and a one piece um, molded fiberglass shower, like that kind of stuff, it just sort of feels right to me like a bigger vent fan. One of the other things that's really nice on this though, some really good headroom in that shower. And I love how they put accent lighting actually at the top of the shower. So that if you're taking a shower at night, um, you're good. Now notice how they didn't put a skylight in. And did you notice when I stood in the shower, um, uh, the, the ceiling magically got taller. I wasn't crouching down. They actually recessed the shower floor plan into the floor. Um, who's doing that? Um, Alliance is doing some of that in like their, uh, I think their Paradigm and their Valor series as well. Now, giving you a little bit of a look at the vanity station right here, there's actually a, a nice chunk of storage going on there. Uh, a little more than you might necessarily uh, realize. You've also got the triple Lipitorage storage going on there. And you see that it is uh, obviously, again, a dual entry bed and bath. But you can always just leave one sliding door closed if, if you're so inclined. It has to be a sliding door entry right there. Because again, uh, it is one slide to rule them all between all of the rooms. So a little more traditional look at things. This is actually the single only place in the RV that you'll find a heat vent in the floor just because they didn't have cabinetry in the wall that they could hide everything. Now you saw the bedside household and USB plugs on the left side of the bed. There are also, um, you might notice some plugs right over there, right next to the bed where you could, uh, you know, have like a little phone charger dangling around the corner or something like that. Of course, we're prepped and ready for stackable washer dryer. You have another smart TV factory standard straight across from you. And then down below here is where all of our bedroom storage is actually going to begin. We have six of these easy dresser drawers and the slide open countertop uh, in the uh, dresser space above that, which is really handy. Uh, that means that you don't have to take everything off the thing every time you want to, uh, you know, get, get into your, your little personal effects and storage, your Jack Sparrow personal effects. Now, the space under the bed might look a little small. It's actually queen-sized, and we're looking at the optional king bed today. You can get this uh, factory standard with a queen bed, or if you're shopping from one that's at a dealership and already has a king in it, just ask the dealer to trim the, uh, the wood base under the bed a little bit, and you can easily size it down and swap it into whatever true queen bed you would personally prefer. Now, looking at her here in road mode, it, it basically ends up looking and functioning like almost any common triple slide fifth wheel what i was wondering is could we still use the bathroom um with the uh the, the the bedroom and bathroom vanity slide retracted and although it was a little tight on my left knee i think i could still make that work one of the other things that's really really nice about uh the way that they've designed this though is you you know you have uh the the big three critical access now the refrigerator you can definitely get to the freezer uh, a little bit trickier. One of the other things that's nice about this, God forbid you ever have to pull that fridge for service purposes, it can come straight out of that slide and go right out the door without needing to take an entire slide wall out of the RV. So all these nice features, uh, they do come with a downside. You're going to need a big truck to haul this around. Ford Rangers and half tons need not apply. Frankly, I think the minimum pickup for conversation on this thing is uh, at least some variety of one ton. And uh, if, if you're gonna go through any sort of cross country or wind zones or do some serious towing, I don't know that you would necessarily regret having a, uh, a dually in front of this thing just for the extra stability that's gonna provide you. Now up front here, um, you can still get these gen prepped, kind of like the, uh, the Solitude family. You see those little perforated punch outs down there. That's kind of like, if I'm gonna teach you how to fish, that's kind of a uh, interesting way of doing that. And it, <laughs> It looks like Spider-Man uh, might have been building this one. You see the uh, the, the tennis shoes uh, prints right there. <laughs> but um, you, if you want to get this thing gen prepped, if you want to get a gen install, you can. Up on the roof, there's a factory standard 330 watt solar panel, but you can uh, you can double that. You can get an additional 330 watts right from the factory level, or daisy chain on to the factory solar. 
uh, aftermarket if you are so inclined. So like if you're shopping for one of these and you want the extra solar, but it's not already there, it's not extremely difficult. Now these are not a, uh, a drop frame fifth wheel, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, there's some benefit to a drop frame storage compartment, like visually, oh gosh, it looks awesome and massive and impressive. But the thing is you tend to stack cargo side by side not on top of one another. So this, it, because this has an extended upper deck, it has an extended belly, which also allows for some really serious storage down here. Overall, I think they do very, very well. Now, um, you can see how you do have that enclosed docking center right there. Uh, your um, TPMS module is located across the way uh, up there as well. And as we back up, you see your tankless on-demand water heater. Those are, uh, you know, becoming more and more common, more and more popular, uh, especially in something like this, where you might use it a little bit more like a home away from home, you know, a, a home wherever you roam, we could say. Once again, this is a six point uh, leveling system and it is a single sewer outlet. So you don't have to go juggling hoses all over the place. That's the last thing you really want to do. And right next to the sewer hookup is where they actually have their sewer holder tube mounted to the underbelly. It's amazing how many manufacturers will put that in like a weird spot you know now for running gear that's something I was actually very happy to uh, learn about and very impressed with they're still using their 17 and a half inch Cooper H rated tires with more ride suspension package to give you some good um, you know peace of mind and, and handling and a decent towing experience considering the size of this RV I'm um, you know I, I was glad to see that that uh, was maintained through the uh, influence family now we're all, you know, camera prepped and ready. You got the ladder on the back, obviously, but a little harder to see because it's kind of down in the shadows. You do have that 300 pound towing hitch with the four-way accessory plug. Uh, well, I'm sorry, four-way wiring harness. P pardon me, I don't know why accessory plug came out of my mouth. <gasps> Ooh, thank you, thank you, Influence. Look where they put those outside speakers. Um, if, if a manufacturer got rid of outside speakers, I wouldn't personally be super awful offended by it. But if they're going to do them, I really like it when manufacturers put them down low like this. Basically, they just kind of stuffed them behind the sofa where you can't really see the back side of the speaker. But it makes sense because now the speaker is down low where you actually want it, where you're actually going to uh, you know, be able to listen to it more effectively under one of your dual power awnings. So I'm going to give them some credit there. I think they did something pretty awesome in that regard. And just in case you're curious, yes, it does have a spare tire. It's just mounted underneath back here. So let me know if, you know, this video influences your decisions. You, you knew you knew that was coming, right? You knew I had to at least at one point do some kind of influence dad joke that just makes you roll your eyes and groan, but hey, there you go. Uh, of course, you can always check the links in the video description uh, to uh, check our website for where we have availability on these. Our website can show you MSRP on these, but uh, manufacturer uh, advertising guidelines do prevent us from publishing our discounted sale prices that we do offer right on a public national medium. So if you need pricing beyond MSRP, contact our team and we're more than happy to get you those figures. And when you're ready, we're ready. Let me know what you think about what they're doing here. And I'm really going to be interested to see how influence evolves and uh, again, kind of starts to really form and shape its own identity separate from the Solitude family. But obviously you can still see that heart and that DNA there. Um, until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.